Now to Ukraine, where four monitors on a routine mission have disappeared. They work for the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The team had been traveling east from Donetsk towards Luhansk in eastern Ukraine. It's not clear what happened, but suspicion is falling on rebels who had previously kidnapped OSCE monitors. And the region where the OSCE team was working has seen violence escalate this week. A day after the shelling of eastern Ukraine's Donetsk International Airport, bodies are piling up in the morgues. Ukraine's newly elected president is vowing to continue what he calls an anti-terror campaign while residents continue to struggle to make sense of all the chaos. CCTV Stephanie Freed reports. Donetsk International Airport on Monday and the airport a day later. One side of the access road bustling with city traffic, the other side blocked. A few hundred meters along this road, what's left of a truckload of militia destroyed by a Ukrainian helicopter gunship as they attempted to flee. 24 hours after the fierce fighting here at the airport, it's eerily calm. Uh, this remnant, this shelled out truck, is a remnant of that fighting. Intermittently, we've heard here uh, automatic weapon fire exchange within the airport compound where we understand there's still a standoff. One can't help but wonder, with this eerie calm, whether it is the quiet before the storm. Morgue officials say the body count stands at 33 and will undoubtedly go higher. Some of the dead are locals, others are believed to be Russian. Forensics experts are currently analyzing DNA samples to determine the men's identities. The fighting erupted near a residential area. It's now like a ghost town. The people who lived here, terrified by shelling and automatic fire that rocked the neighborhood on Monday, have fled. Sergei, who prefers not to reveal his identity, was at home with his wife and two young children when the assault began. He says he grabbed his children and ran for cover in the family's underground shelter. This is how he climbed down and came down here. Sergei and his family spent five hours in this cramped, dark space. When they emerged, his wife took the children and fled to relatives living outside Donetsk. They say they'll return when it is safe. With rumors of militia reinforcements en route to Donetsk and with more Ukraine military strikes likely, Sergei may be on his own for a while. Stephanie Fried, CCTV, Donetsk, Ukraine.